Howdy friends! Recently, Google pulled the Google Cast for Education extension, which allowed us to cast Chromebook screens to our devices that were plugged into televisions. And this provided a great opportunity for students to share their screen as well as teachers to share their Chromebook screens and make things pretty interactive. Since they pulled that, we have to come up with a little bit of a workaround. And this is a suggestion coming straight from Google. And so what you would do is, as the teacher, you would pull up Google Meet. I recommend utilizing the one that is in Google Classroom primarily just because when you use this link, what happens is students cannot access it unless the teacher is present. And so when the teacher pulls up the Google Meet, what they'll want to do then is hit join now and they can close out of the join meeting information. Now from here, you could have the student present or the teacher could also possibly set this up. So that way it goes full screen that way the focus is primarily on the student screen or whoever is presenting at that time. So now we switch over to a student screen. And here is the student. I utilize the extension called Web Paint and it allowed me to type directly on the Wonderopolis website and share some notes. So let's say that I, as the teacher, say to the student, hey, I really want you to share that information with the whole class. And so what you can do is have them go ahead and visit the Google Meet link. And since I, as a teacher, am already in this Google Meet link, then what I can do is have the student join it, but I'm not going to have them hit join. And the reason why is because otherwise, what you'll deal with is having to click on more buttons. If you're merely just wanting the student to share their screen, all they need to do is hit the present button. So if I hit present, then it's going to ask the student if they want to share just a Chrome tab, their entire screen, or specific application window. So if you're using a Chrome app of some sort, then you can share that. So since I'm working with a Chromebook, this is how it shows up. I'm not fully certain how it would show up for an iOS device, but what I do know is that this method is device agnostic. So that means that anyone could utilize this method. If students have devices, they can share via Google Meet and just hit the present button to share what they want to share. So now I, as the student, am going to choose my tab that has the article and I'm going to press share. And so now the student would be presenting to the entire class what's going on. So let's take a look at it from the teacher side. So like I had said before, I went full screen on this Chrome browser on the Google Meet tab. So that way you can see the entire space. Now you could just leave it like that. That's fine. And then the bar at the bottom would shrink down. But if you're wanting a little more focus on what is being presented, you can go into full screen mode by clicking on the three dots and, and that box icon. So that way you can see it full screen. So now the student is over here and able to present. And when the student scrolls, there is a slight delay to it. It's not as real time as Google Cast was, but it does work. And you could even ask the student to even add additional information. So for example, on Web Paint, if the student decides to type more information, it does show up for the entire class. Again, there is a slight delay to it, maybe about one or two seconds, depending on your Wi-Fi connection. Here in my school district, it's about two seconds. As far as discontinuing the presentation or if there's a need to end it early, you have the option and you have the power to be able to end this session. What you would do is you would click on your people tab here and you would click on the student and you would remove the student from the meeting. By doing so, the student will no longer be presenting to the entire group and they will be out of the Google Meet. Now I, as the teacher, what I would want to do is I would want to leave full screen and you can merely just close out of the Google Meet tab and return to Google Classroom. And that ends the whole presentation session. The other option would have been to just have the student close out of the Google Meet tab altogether to end the presentation. Now in this scenario, if the student goes back to Google Classroom, since the teacher has just closed out of the Google Meet altogether and tries to return, here is what the student will receive since the student was removed from the meeting. If this alert does not come up, then what will need to happen is there will need to be some changes made by your system administrator in order to make sure that students cannot participate in a Google Meet via Google Classroom without a teacher present.